Well, McMaster University and Spanish tech company Virtualware unveiled a new state-of-the-art virtual reality room at McMaster Innovation Park today. Louis Butko has more. Today we inaugurate a portal to infinite possibilities, a gateway to the future. The future of VR isn't a distant dream. It's here, it's now, and it's only going to grow more pervasive, more integral to our lives. Virtualware founder and CEO Unai Extrema was joined by the Spanish ambassador to Canada, Alfredo Martinez Sereno, and other dignitaries as the company unveiled a brand new custom built virtual reality lab as part of an initial four year partnership with McMaster's engineering program. Michael Rosas is VP general manager with the company and says Hamilton was the perfect fit to launch their first VR space in Canada. Ultimately, what we see is a great opportunity for Hamilton to be the hub for VR for industry. We see, uh, because of the companies around it, the, all the investments and the new developments that's happening, uh, a really great ecosystem uh, to have people uh, involved to, to, to utilize this technology. The 100 meter squared free roam lab provides students, faculty and businesses with the opportunity to explore new uses for virtual reality tools and services. Senior principal research engineer at McMaster's Automotive Research Center, Carlos Vidal, says with virtual reality, the possibilities are endless when it comes to what they can create and innovate. Well, this is a space that we can use to try anything that is too dangerous or too rare to happen, right? So we can blend, in this space, we can actually blend virtual reality with the real uh, stuff. Hannah Habaneko is a research fellow with the Automotive Research Center and says while the technology may seem advanced, users are able to create content without the need to write even a single line of code. So beginners can come in, their learning curve is a lot less steeper for making simulations and it's, it really invites the broader community to come in and make simulations that 10 years ago they probably wouldn't have been able to. Virtual wear uh, has made it possible for that wall to be broken down. Reporting in Hamilton, Louis Butko, CHCH News.